Hi, this is Smita Dev and welcome to Get Curried. Sometimes it can be really monotonous and difficult to plan our menus. And so today I have come up with a combination of recipes to make your meal planning easy. So the first recipe I'm going to show you is a chicken curry. For that, I'm going to heat 2 tablespoons of mustard oil and we're going to smoke this mustard oil. The oil has reached its smoking point and releasing an amazing aroma. Let's add 2 tablespoons of ghee to this. A pinch of asafoetida or hing to this. Three medium-sized onions, which are sliced. Let's sauté these onions till they turn to a beautiful golden color. The onions have turned golden. Let's add a heap tablespoon of ginger paste and a tablespoon of garlic paste. I'm just going to sauté this for a minute. I have a kilo of chicken here, which we are going to add. to the onions let's quickly add half a teaspoon of turmeric to this let's fry this chicken till it turns slightly brown the chicken is fried well let's add a tablespoon of coriander powder a teaspoon of cumin seed powder 2 tablespoons of red chili powder I'm just going to quickly fry this Let's reduce the flame and add 3 medium tomatoes that I've finely chopped and a tablespoon of green chili pickle to add that little sharpness to the chicken curry Let's saute the chicken for 2 minutes. Let's sprinkle the salt and give it one final stir before we cover it and cook it till it's done. Let's cover this reduce the flame to a low and cook till it's done and while this is getting cooked let's get on with the second recipe that is the aloo tereko which is a simple stir fried aloo ki sabzi let's heat a tablespoon of mustard oil and once the mustard oil gets hot i'm going to add a tablespoon of ghee to this i'm just going to throw in 10 to 12 fenu greek seeds or methi seeds 5 cloves of crushed garlic 1 and a half inch of ginger that i have coarsely crushed just let's fry this for a few seconds so here i have taken four potatoes large potatoes which i have peeled and you can slice it to whatever uh, size you want and i have kept them in cold water because i want to remove the excess starch so that the potatoes turn crisp while we are cooking it let's add the potatoes now let's saute these potatoes till they turn crisp The potatoes have turned crisp. Let's add the rest of the ingredients. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of red chili powder, a teaspoon of coriander seed powder, a teaspoon of cumin seed powder, salt to taste. And now let's mix this well. Now let's cover this and cook it for 3 to 4 minutes till the potatoes are done. Don't forget to reduce the flame. We don't want the potatoes to get burnt. Let's take a look at the chicken. What an aroma. 
it's smelling delicious the chicken is almost done so i'm going to sprinkle some garam masala on this a teaspoon of garam masala some freshly chopped coriander mix this gently cover this and cook for another 5 minutes till the chicken is done let's take a look at the chicken the chicken is ready let's shut the flame and while the potatoes are getting cooked we're just going to fix a simple raita for that i'm going to take a cup of yogurt to this i'm going to add some salt to taste some spring onions which i have roughly chopped quickly mix this let's add a little bit of cumin powder and the raita is ready as well wasn't it a very simple one let's check the potatoes they're cooked i'm going to add five slit green chilies to this mix this well shut the flame and keep the potatoes aside while i make crisp parathas Our parathas are ready as well. Now let's serve the thali. Our thali is ready to be served. I hope you all enjoyed watching these recipes. Do try them. Let me know and keep watching Get Curry.